Welcome to the second in a series of screencasts on rescue time, this one focusing on the dashboard. When you log into rescue time, you will immediately be taken to the dashboard. This dashboard shows me the daily activity that I've had for today, Tuesday, September 22nd. As you can see, I've been on the computer for 54 minutes and 38 seconds, most of which has been working on this screencast. If you look, my productivity pulse tells me that I am quite productive, very productive for 34 minutes, neutral for 15 minutes, three minutes of productive time, and very distracting for 31 seconds. I'm kind of curious to find out what that might be. If you scroll over to the right, you will notice that the 19 minutes that I've been logged on that is categorized as business includes using Rescue Time and Google Drive. Then there's Design and Composition. Uncategorized is for 10 minutes. There's some utility work. And Communication and Scheduling is also listed here. This isn't very clear, but if you scroll down, you should see something that is far more clear. So you can see I've spent quite a bit of time on the website Rescue Time, and then I've been doing some work in Google Presentations, looking at some Google Docs, some blogs, and even some other Google app activity. And then uncategorized is Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I'm using to make this screencast. And you can keep going down, you can have goals for the day, and you can see the total time I've been logged in is an astounding 3,041 hours, of which a little under half of that has been productive time. So this gives you an idea of what's happened for today. Now if I take another day, for instance September 10th, it'll show that I was logged in for 6 hours and 57 minutes. And this is interesting in that there's a gap from some time between 7 and noon where I wasn't using my computer. It took me a few minutes to remember Thursday, September 10th, and then I realized I was doing a presentation with a couple of students talking about ICT and education. And of course, ironically, we did not have our computers. But once I got back to school, I was back at it for a number of hours, and then uh, it looks like I took my computer home to do some work as well. So again, it'll show you your particular activities in different category categories. Now, that's a fairly good part of the dashboard, but you can also adjust it so that it shows your weekly activities. And in this particular week, I've only been on for 10 hours, but if I go back to last week, I was only on for 11 hours, and you'll notice there's a couple of gaps, and those are primarily because I was on the Year 7 Action Week camp. So I wasn't using my computers. On the Wednesday, I think I uploaded photos, and then if I look back even to the week prior to that, this is more a typical week, and you will see that most of the time I'm on task. I've been on the computer for about 38 hours, given that that's part of my job. That is fairly normal. But I would suggest that if you're looking through this with someone, you look at the week and see how things have gone. And you'll notice, surprisingly, I've spent a lot of time in Microsoft Outlook, and it doesn't surprise me that I spent a lot of time in Google Docs. But it's interesting data nonetheless. You can go even further and show your monthly totals. And that'll give you a more macro look of what you have been up to. 82 hours for the last month. And again, it'll show you where most of your activity has been occurring. For me, a lot of it involves emailing and scheduling. So this should give you a basic idea of what the ash dashboard does and how you might use it. To learn more about these categories on the right, watch the next screencast. Thanks for watching this screencast on the Rescue Time dashboard.